everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome to my craft room. We have our last Tuesday tree haul for a month. Well, I am on vacation today, but it's a really good one. All right, so let's start with probably what is boring to you guys, but I have to take care of the co-workers, the kitties, well, I'm gone, um, so I have to leave my roommate with lots and lots of cookies. So I picked them up, some nine lives. I've been picking them up ever, every time I go. Um, boring, I know, but those are a must. Those are a necessity to my kitties. I picked up a couple more boxes of Crush. I'm taking these with me just in case I can't find any on uh, my trip because you know how the Dollar Trees are up in New Hampshire. Wah, wah, wah. I'm going to miss my Dollar Trees while I'm gone. All right. Also, let's go into personal care. <clears throat> I have been of itchy nose. It's always a cough or an itchy nose when I get on here. Um, okay, so I have been going to the dermatologist over and over and over again about this thing that I've had on my hands and feet, okay? And um, they did biopsies and they came back and they, first one doctor, th there's two doctors in my dermatologist and one doctor said, oh, that's definitely psoriasis. And the other doctor says, I don't think that's psoriasis, I think it's eczema. E and I've never had either all my life. So after biopsies and infections and all kinds of things, they finally figured out it was a rare combination. There is a name for it, but it was a rare combination of psoriasis and eczema. Only I would get the rare thing, right? But my treatment seems to work best with eczema treatment, like a vitamin D cream. And here's, here's what I'm talking about. That's my hand. And this is a good day. Here's my other hand. And they can be itchy, but mostly it's painful. And this is a good day. Um, but anyways, I have to tell you guys, all the months and months and months of going to the dermatologist and then prescribing me creams and ointments and medicines that could cause cancer if I was to take it and then then not being even um, covered by my insurance so one day I'm strolling through the Dollar Tree and I noticed this eczema cream just eczema cream so I took it down I read the back and I'm like well it's got hydrocortisone like, wouldn't they have given me hydrocortisone if that was going to work? But I said, well, $1.25, I have nothing to lose. If anything, it'll soothe it, right? I have to keep it moist. Well, this is my second tube of this eczema cream. I'm telling you guys, for $1.25, this is the best stuff so far that is keeping my hands to a minimum. It's crazy. I'm telling you, make sure you have a little tab on yours to make sure that nobody has used it yet. I'm just, I'm just going to tell you, I know that the active ingredients is just hydrocortisone 1%. But whatever else is in this, is this just amazing stuff. So if you have eczema, get yourself some eczema cream from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if it's never been there before or if it's just because I have eczema now that I'm... I'm noticing it, but it really, really, really is a fabulous little tube of cream. All right, so going away, and so that's why I'm stocking up on this stuff too. Um, I picked up some things for my um, travel bath shower bag, you know. So I found this Crabtree and Everly by London. I love Crabtree and Everly, Everlyn. Um, and this is just a little five ounce body wash. And I didn't smell it, but let's do that now. Oh, we can't smell it because it's got a little, I won't even take that off. That's easier for travel. I'm sure it smells awesome though. So I got a little five ounce bottle of body wash. And then I picked up some Dove shampoo and conditioner 
And the reason I picked Dove out of any of them is because they're skinny. They're skinny bottles, right? So they're going to fit in my little travel. I have a little bag that I will take out of my suitcase and hang in the bathroom. It's got all my stuff, right? Um, my mother used to call it a ditty bag. But um, so th those will be great. So I picked up a shampoo and conditioner in that. And then, let's see, the only other personal item that I really see here, uh, maybe those, but... Um, is I picked up some Flower Beauty in Melon Kiss. And it's a mix and matte. So, one side is matte and the other side is a gloss. So, let's open this up real quick and see what this is all about. Now, Flower is Drew Barrymore uh, product. And so this is what we have. This is what it looks like. Pretty color. So, uh, let's see. Oh, so this is the lipstick. Look at that. Really nice color. Let's swatch, swatch it on me. Oh, yeah. Very pretty color for me. And then this side... You turn it over if you want gloss, right? And then let's put this next to it. And then you can, or you can just do one or the other. Yeah, I don't really have any makeup on. So, I think... That's going to be a pretty natural color for me. I like that. So that is that. So you can either have a matte or, so this is the matte, if you don't like gloss. And then if you do like gloss, you can either top that with the gloss side or just use the gloss. So pick that up for myself because I always love to get new color. I love lip color. I look pretty dead today. No, no makeup on today. Okay, let's get into the next thing here. We are going to go into this. I picked this up for my favorite five-year-old. I love, love, love this. It's got the screw-up crayons there. And I think it's by Crayola. And I think he's just going to have a fun time with this activity pack. You get 30 coloring pages and four turn screw up crayons, which are awesome. I did also buy him a package of the screw up uh, crayons by Crayola. And so he'll have those crayons as well. So pick that up for my favorite five year old. Just love that little kiddo. All right, now I picked this up in the dog section and I'll tell you why. I picked these up just to use as bows. Look how cute those are. We can put those on our crafts or even put those in our own hair. They're just a little elastic. For the 4th of July, those would be cute. Anyway, picked those up for crafting purposes. <clears throat> then I found in the kitchen or home, uh, I don't know, what, what, what would, cleaning, all that section, they have some new, brand new, Peppermint Sage All-Purpose Cleaner, and this is not by Greenbrier. This is uh, manufactured by a company in Michigan, and it's got a consumer questions phone number on the back, and it looks really good, but the thing is, I was smelling these in the store and they smell so good. So I think Christine was with me. We were smelling these. So if you like peppermint, and I'll tell you what, bugs hate peppermint, like ants. Like if you have little sugar ants around or um, any of that, they hate this stuff. So I picked up the all-purpose spray cleaner. And I think there is three to this line, but I only saw 
these too. So I also picked up the one for dishes, also peppermint sage. They smell so good. So if I can find the third one, I would like to gift these to my daughter for her new home. I'm going to be putting together a little basket, you know, because um, she's basically starting over. She's moving from Tennessee to Florida and she got rid of most of her cleaning things, spices, all that stuff. So if I can find the third one, which I think is laundry, I'm going to gift those to her. I hope I can find those. So that's why I picked those up. Okay, I'm saving crafts for last because that's my favorite, but we need to take a sip of the drink. With that whistle. Okay, this is really exciting. Um, I think you're going to see these in my Follow Me Friday because I found these right after my last Follow Me Friday and I took a quick video to throw in this week's. But look at these, you guys. These are towel clips and these are little flip-flop ones and they had pink flamingos and they had a, a fish, like a dory fish um and these little pink flamingos and you only get one for a dollar 25 but they're really really strong they're not chintzy they are not made by greenbrier they are put out by best brands and they are made in edison new jersey so i picked up two of the flip-flops because i just thought look at the little flip-flops they're like rubbery they're, they're just cute they're little rubber tongs you know and they just i thought they were the cutest so had to pick those up so i got two one for each side of my towel you only get one for a dollar 25 but um it secures your towel in place see the picture if you are uh, on a beach chair or a pool chair. So I picked up those for myself. Okay, now I am saving all of the crafters square things for last. All right, let's get right into what I found another round. I'm gonna pick them up one at a time if that's what it takes, but I'm replenishing my, um, it's a 12 by 12 wooden round really good for crafts so now i have three more i also am replenishing this if you remember we made a bird um uh, a bird feeder with some bowls and that was really really cool so i needed another one of those for my stash and then i picked up one of these i guess this is in my crafts because i'm going to craft with it but it really is from the tool bench um department of the dollar tree but i am going to try to craft with that if i can um do that so picked up one of those but these are great little utility hooks it comes with the hardware it comes with the little pre-drilled hole there so you can put that on the back of a closet door in a pantry or in your cellar way or wherever this is just a great little utility hook so you um yeah you get this you get the hardware for mounting and everything so that is a pretty good deal for a dollar 25 and it's coated it's the coated metal which is even better all right so not a craft but i'm going to use that for crafting then i picked up one of these welcome signs we have already used this welcome sign in our crafting but this is a repeat buy picked that up for crafting i also picked up two more of these macrame cotton twine i just they have colors out now too and i almost wanted to pick up some of the colors but um i decided not to i'm just not into macrame but i want to give my um self a shot at these leaves 
um, that everybody's making. And I want to give myself a shot at it too. So I picked up, because I don't know how much it's going to take. So I picked up two more of those. And these are great to have on hand, even if you don't macrame. Those are great. All right, I picked up this. Um, this is cool. I have done a craft, again, I think maybe on Facebook maybe not on YouTube, with one of these light bulb um, terrariums. That's just speaks for itself. You can take the top off. It does screw off. Um, it's got the hole here, so you can put a succulent in it. I don't think I have one here. This one wouldn't probably be big enough, but you could put a little succulent in it you know and some rocks they're cute they're really cute so picked up one of those be so cute with some fairy lights at night outside and last but not least i finally picked up one of these it says home is where the heart is and you're supposed to put photos you can keep it like this but you're supposed to take this out and put photos in and it's a or a card you can put a greeting card it says card holder um but i'll tell you the truth i'm gonna cut this i want the word home look at the look at the texture and um what's the word i love the finish see the finish of that word it's already distressed for me. So I'm going to be take, cutting this, cutting the hearts in this little thing off and just having the word home. Yeah. I thought that would be really a cool little word, home. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And that will do it for today's Tuesday tree haul. My last Tuesday tree haul for a month. Um, I won't see you until I get back at the other end. So uh, August. I don't know when I get back actually. I think I get back August 1st. I'm leaving July 1st. I think I get back August 1st. So I um We'll see you as soon as I get back, all refreshed, and um, hopefully with a really fun and ex inspiring Dollar Tree haul. So I hope you guys, oh wait, 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 I have a few more crafts here. Sorry, I have three more things. I didn't even notice. I am um, really quick though, they are Crafter Square, and I picked up two of these home you get two in a package so i picked up two home and one family yeah i forgot about those they're right here in front of me these are a great buy a dollar 25 and you get a two pack can't get those for a dollar 25 at hobby lobby all right now i'm finished so if you saw anything in my video that makes you want to go look for it at the dollar tree make sure you tell me what your favorite item was that i hauled below in the comments and until august i won't see you until well i will see you again for crafts this week and i will see you for my follow me friday so stay with me we have a few more days this week and i look forward to each and every one of them until then make sure that you're subscribed and um you want to be subscribed because we're gonna one of these products is going in the giveaway basket which is getting really really full and we're trying to get up to 700 subscribers before we give that basket away but we might have to give it away earlier but make sure you're subscribed because you have to be a subscriber to win and um what was the let's see make sure you say hi what was your favorite thing and i'll see you tomorrow and we will do a craft and until then i hope you be good and do good bye bye now <laughs>